Okay, this is the inner of the tailgate. We got to make a box that will literally, you know, and be up off the tailgate to put a light in because we want the image to project. That's how I want mine. Everybody can do this how they want, but I want mine like this. Okay. You can see, this will make me a metal box that I cut this strip out to allow light to penetrate through and clean up my envelope on the back side, the Chevy symbol. Now we can go ahead and cap this into a box and we'll put a flat piece on it and a hole in our light in there and all our plexi in between the back of the, you know, and I'm going to use a white piece of plexiglass cutting board. Top pattern, cut out your bottom pattern, take the piece you cut out, weld it, make a box, I weld mine yet and make a cap for each end. You can put your neon in here and your plexiglass and all your stuff. Uh, how's that on the back side of the tailgate for the Chevy emblem? You can always make this cap removable, whatever you want to do. All right, that's where we're at right now. Get to welding, get the other cap notches cut out and put on there, and we'll show you what the box looks like on there and welded and everything in there. Here's what the tailgate looks like. I got a piece of plexiglass. It's it's sanded, so it's non see-through, it's like satin, it looks like sand at the back side of it. Just taped it behind it and I put a blue headlight above that so it lights the glass up a little bit. The best thing so far that I've used is white eighth inch cutting board. Clear 100% silicone, body adhesive, epoxy. Put a nice bead all the way around the Chevrolet symbol from the back side the panel you've cut out. Lay your board up against that so that it covers the letters. What happens is your actual letters will light up even on a white board like that. It works very well. Uh, you can use tinted plexiglass, plexiglass with uh, chrome back. You gotta lay the light above it so it hits the plexi. It's all about uh, your setup and how you do it. I like to put the white cutting board, then I put a bucket behind it and use any LED I want or bulb and it lights it up evenly. You can always change it. I showed you kind of my prototype bucket for this particular project. And once it's all done and painted and finished and everything, you know, eventually here, uh, I'll show you that because it's going to be painted with the bed of the truck and by that time it'll be done. Next couple of videos or so and we'll get on that. I have other things that I'm going to keep going at. I wanted to prototype this in because eventually I'll buy a brand new tailgate and uh, do it with the brand new tailgate where it's really good and then paint it a second time obviously because I'll use this one for now. Money, budget reasons. Build the truck, get it together, get it on the road, get it moving, get happy. If you guys want to see the center of the R, the center of the O there, and you want to see it put back in there, let me know. This is to my brother, Davey. I miss you, bro. You were one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life that kept me sane and joyful and laughing. My fondest memories are you and all of your friends that you made mine. Dave, Ashley, Junior, Mikey, Adam, all you guys. You were only my friends because of Davey. I appreciate you accepting me as your friend. I had never had such great memories as when you guys were younger playing as kids and now seeing pictures of you being men with your own families and your own vehicles and your own houses. I could never be prouder than to say I was your friend. I miss you all very much. The summers we spent together, or times we spent together, were the best I'll ever have in my whole life. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart.